Hello, my name is Lubini Rana Singh. I'm the head of communications at Interpeace. Thank you very much for joining with us with us today. Could you please introduce yourself to us? Hi, my pleasure to be here. My name is Ollie Brown. I'm an associate fellow with Chatham House and with the Geneva Centre for Security Policy. Delighted to have you with us today uh, at the radio corner of PeaceCast, brought to you by Fondation Rondelle, Interpeace, Geneva Peace Building Platform, and Genève Vision. My first question is very simple. Why are you here at Maison de la Paix for the opening day of Geneva Peace Week 2022? So I'm here because I think this is where some really interesting discussions are happening. Um, it's where people are coming from different perspectives. I personally come from the perspective of the links between environment, natural resources and peace and how we can both understand the environmental impacts of conflict and the environmental opportunities for peace. And so for me, I'm really keen to, to hear from other kind of sectors to understand kind of what opportunities there are to harness the environment as a kind of an opportunity for peace rather than a victim of conflict. And also, I guess I've been helping to organize one of the tracks of the Geneva Peace Week where we're looking at these issues around environment, peace and conflict. Great, and this year's Geneva Peace Week under the title Peace is Possible. Is it really? Isn't it challenging to ask ourselves this question today? There's no, the world is faced by very complex multi-dimensional conflicts around the world 52 active conflicts each and every region has been affected so can we here in geneva discuss for the next five days that the peace is possible and if so how are we going to make it possible what is the role that you're playing in making it possible well, if peace isn't possible, then we're wasting our time. We are in challenging, a challenging moment, more conflicts than at any time since the Second World War, like you say, touching everywhere around the world. Um, so it's, it's a tremendously challenge, t challenging time, but that's exactly the time when we need to lean into this, um, do what we can, look at where we can, where we can play our small, modest role on this. So for me, the question of how is it possible is by addressing some of the root causes of conflict, addressing some of the underlying things that can carry on creating creating tensions between communities between countries um, and looking at the way that environmental issues um, and shared natural resources common environmental challenges can bring people together and find ways for cooperating over over the things that we all share we all we all breathe the same air we all live on the same planet um, and we all are going to live on the same planet so um, for me peace is possible and uh, if we can have uh, peace on a livable planet then even better. Thank you so very much for joining with us today. I wish you all the very best for the days to come and happy Geneva Peace Week. Thank you, my pleasure.